Murray Energy, owner of the American Century Mine, says they found out about the spill of clay and water slurry at 6 a.m. Friday. They contracted vacuum trucks to suck up the spill from a hayfield and Captina Creek. The Ohio Environmental Council estimates the spill at about one quarter of a million gallons, but Murray Energy says they'll have it cleaned up by Wednesday. Murray Energy has spilled slurry several times, at least seven times in the past decade from from this pipeline and this impoundment. The Sierra Club shot this video six hours after the spill. The Ohio Department of Natural Resources Wildlife Division was also there, and spokesman Mike Shelton says, so far 3,500 fish and 850 other salamanders, crayfish, and frogs died in the creek. The question is, why does this keep happening? Um, why does this company seem to be unwilling to change the way it does business? Canfer's talking about Murray Energy's pumping slurry through a pipeline only to be stored in a slurry pond indefinitely. ODNR says the leak happened in a welded joint in the pipe, which had a two-inch break below ground and 200 feet from the creek. The slurry, under pressure, was forced up to the surface, flooded a hayfield, and poured into Captina Creek, polluting one and a half miles, before Murray Energy was able to build this hay dam to stop the runoff.